Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome to my channel. Um, I don't know what you're doing, but hi! My name's Kenzie, Kenzie May. I figured I would uh, do a face routine, has kind of been requested on TikTok, uh, so I thought might as well just do a little tutorial for you guys. So uh, hang tight. <laughs> Now, I do have product in my eyebrows already, um, but that's just because I just took off my makeup. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't much, but to start with some moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Tatcha Water Cream. I'm using the little spatula. I will just get some product out and put it on my face. my moisturizer on I'm going to be taking the elf poreless putty primer and just putting it on my face I do have a little spatula tool that I use to get this out um, it's just more sanitary I'd like to think that that's why my skin's a little more clear now than what it was but anyways we're just gonna put this on the face Now that my primer is applied, I'm going to take my concealer and just block out my eyebrows and uh, put on some foundation on my forehead area. I did not put this uh, at the beginning, but I am using my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade Fair 10. I didn't introduce that. Now, I will be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade Fair 10 NN, and I will just put that over my forehead and then we'll blend it out. I'm using a beauty blender that I have prepped with some of my Milan Make It Last setting spray. I am just, or, like I said, working it into the beauty blender just so then I can work it into my foundation and I think that it makes it stay longer. Um, it honestly makes it stay all day even though I wear an N95 and a face shield, so I think it helps. For my forehead, I am going to be using the She Glam Sun Sculpted Contour, Liquid Contour, whatever you want to call it, in the shade Golden Sun, and uh, just putting that around my hairline. Just because I like to have some blush on my forehead as well, I will take also the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush and I will just put that more towards my temples but also blending it inward towards the forehead. Just one dot, um, a little goes a long way for the blush. Um, the contour, not so much, but. Now to prime my eyelids, I will use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and just 
put it on my lids and then we're gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. Now that is all blended out, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier setting powder and just setting my forehead and my eyelids. To conceal my under eyes, I am going to again be taking my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and just concealing my under eyes and my insecurities. What's new? <laughs> Now that I have applied my concealer, again taking the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade Fair 10 and N and putting it all over my face. Now immediately after blending out my under eyes, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just start packing it underneath my eyes so they can start baking and not creasing. Cause that's been the trend lately for my eyeballs is that they want to crease real bad. Again, I will be taking my She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer in the shade Golden Sun and I'm going to apply it a little higher than most people usually apply their contour. Um, does TikTok make me do it? Just kidding. No, uh, it actually fits my face a little better than lower. Lower just kind of makes my face look off. Now that I have applied all of that bronzer, I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender and I'm going to flip it over to the clean side and that's where I'm going to be blending at. I'm going to be using the She Glam Liquid Blush in the shade, I don't even think that I told you the shade first. <laughs> in the shade Rose Ritual, that's the shade that I've been using, I'm sorry. I'm going to be applying it more along the bridge of my nose rather than the cheekbones, just because I like the way that it makes my, li my lips look. Just because I like the way that it makes my face look. And again, like I stated before, a little goes a long ways. Uh, hang tight. because I think some freckles would look really cute with this look. I'm going to be using the She Glam Freck Please. It's a freck freckle tint. So when you apply it, you'll see in a second. It looks like real freckles and I have freckles, but they just don't want to show ever. Freck tint, where does that go? So this is the cool thing about it. Before it dries, if you take the back of a beauty blender and just start beating your face, it just copies it all over. So it looks like 
genuine freckles, at least in my opinion it does. Choose your fighter. And again, taking the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent, I am just going to set everything that I just did. Finally, taking my Milani Make It Last setting spray, I'm just going to douse my whole face in some setting spray. To highlight, um, I do this after I've done everything. I will be dipping into the shade Unique, and that's what I'm going to be using to highlight all over. Eyes, eyebrows, and nose, lip, face, cheekbone, whatever. You got it. Yeah? so much for tuning into this kind of hectic tutorial on how to do foundation at least this is how I've been doing my foundation for the last five-ish months um, so if you're curious that's how I do it um, just a little tutorial on how to do my face so yeah thank you guys so much for being here if you haven't already hop on over to my TikTok if you would like TikTok, Instagram, and to add me on Snapchat, it's all Lil Baby, L I L underscore BBY 511. Yes, I managed to get all of them to be the same. <laughs> I feel real cheesy about that, but that's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night, rest your day, rest your week. If it's the beginning of the week, good luck. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye!